Okay, so you want to be able to offer uh, anybody that visits a particular page or a post um, a file, uh, a link that they can click on so that they can download some kind of uh, file or maybe take them to another recording um, or something of that nature. Maybe you've got a page and you've got a video on it and, and under the video you're offering uh, a bonus file, a PDF or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do it. One is going to be hosting the file on your website, on your web server, and the other will be using the Amazon S3 server. Um, Either, both ways are easily done. Um, they just take a little bit of difference. It depends on your level of comfort as to which way you want to go if you're already set up with Amazon S3. My recommendation is always going to be to host with Amazon S3 for various different reasons. Um, but anyway, so this works for a page or a post. It doesn't have to be a new page or post. It can be an existing page. You can add this in and it's a real easy thing to do. So if you're familiar with logging into um, your WordPress dashboard, go ahead and log into your WordPress dashboard. And I'm doing a new page. So you can click on add a new page and we'll just say test page uh, for adding a document. Okay, and so in this page, we're going to have a video and I already have the link uh, right here. So I'm going to add the link. <clears throat> and I didn't do that right. So you always want to add the link. Uh, you want to make sure that you add your links here on the text, uh, which is the actual code editor. And then you can go back to visual. Uh, it's still got it there. So that's fine. Um, so the other thing that you want to do is now we want to be able to add, uh, so you want to say click here to download your bonus item or whatever it is you want to do. So if you're going to uh, host it on your website, the first thing that you need to do is you need to get the document onto your website, onto your web server if it's not already there. So click on add media and then upload files. You can either drag and drop the file if you know where it is or if you don't know where it is just click select files. This is the file that I would do and I'll show you real quick. You can just click open and it uploads the file for you. Now what you want to make sure to do is uh, where the title is it's going to give the same title as the type of uh, file that it is so if you want to change it I recommend you change it to something that's friendly um, with search engines if this is available to the public. Um, otherwise, it's just kind of easier for you to remember stuff as you actually type them out. Uh, for clients. And then uh, you can go down and it's a media file. Um, so you want to leave that. And this right here is the link that you'll need. So you want to copy that. So you don't want to insert this into the page. What you want to do is you want to close that, but you've copied the, the link. So you highlighted this whole thing right here, which is a good thing to highlight. You could, uh, you could just highlight here, but I always like to highlight the entire thing. That way somebody can just click wherever. Uh, so you want to click on insert a link and just take this out, copy, uh, paste in the link that you had. You don't have to worry about the title. I do recommend open a link in a new window or tab. And the reason that I recommend this is it doesn't take them away from your website. Um, however, this being a download, um, it's not really going to affect it that way, but I check it anyhow. And then you say add link. And that's pretty much it for this. So what would happen is um, once you're able to uh, publish the page. You can save the draft if you want to take a look at it real quick before you publish it. You just click on preview which opens up a new window for you. And here it is. Here's your video and then down below is click here to download your bonus item. And if you click there to download the bonus item, uh, I'm in Chrome so it's going to open it up but they can download. I'm sure they're familiar with that. So the other way, real quick, let me show you. It's the same type of thing. So in, if you weren't going to, and we'll just delete this whole thing. So we'll do it again. Click here to download your bonus item. 
or whatever you want to say. Select the whole thing. You're going to select Insert Edit Link. Now this, if you're hosting with Amazon S3, you can get a link to the file. And I've already got the link, so I'll just clear all this out. I'll paste that link in. Again, I'm going to select to open the link in a new window or tab. I'm going to add the link. And once again, it is uh, right there. And you can tell. And if you wanted to, you could go take a look at the actual coding. And you could see it's got an href. It's got the location of your file. Target blank. That means that it's going to open up a new window. And then it's got your wording that you typed in right here. The A's mean that it is a link. So if you go back here, and now if you preview again, once again, here's your video, here's your link. Hover over it, you can see it is clickable. And if you look down at the bottom, you'll see that there is, it's talking about where the destination is, but if you click on it, once again, there's your file. So anyway, I hope this helps you out real quick in knowing exactly what to do. Once you're done creating the page like you want it, just click Publish. If you ever need to come back and update the location or update the file, maybe the uh, information you provide has been outdated and you need to update it and provide a new one, you just come right in here. You can select that whole thing and just click on the Insert Edit link, and you can actually edit the link, update, and then when you update your page, uh, I'm not publishing this page, but if I did, then it would be update here. And when you update your page, it'll go to the new link. So I hope this helps you out. If you got any questions, let me know. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.